on this computer. All right, so we have another coffee break, five things you should know, presentation, quick and easy, get you some information to get your financial journey on track again. Um, today is April 19th, 2023, and we are going to be talking about how does inflation affect my investments, uh, whether that's investments in your 401k or investments outside of the 401k. Inflation has been a topic that everybody's been talking about, but nobody's really talking about how that's actually affecting your investments. So we're going to do that today. Now, just as a reminder, this is for 401k participants, people who are employees at companies that aren't necessarily getting the education that they want or need to do financial planning for themselves or get some help on that. Um, and it's just to give you a quick, quick strategy for your financial future. It's short and sweet. It's about 15 minutes that we try to do this. Although Chris and I are running at about 11 minutes that we get through this. So, um, <laughs> but it's just highlights. So essentially, if you have something more pressing or something on a personal level, please reach out to us. There'll be a QR code at the end of the presentation that you can set up a call with us. And so who are we? Well, as you can see, um, I'm Lisa Sky. This is Christopher Whalen, and we have lots of experience, 12 and 22, almost 23 years for Chris, in the, in, in the industry helping clients. That's all been helping clients and working with clients in this part of it. Um, I work a lot on the personal planning side. I work with a lot of female professionals and their families, just helping them live the life that they really want to live. And Chris does a lot of personal planning, but as well as he uh, works a lot in the 401k implementation. And so he knows how 401k works better than anybody else. So, and extra benefits and, and perks and everything to make sure that you employees are taken care of. Uh, I do kickboxing at least twice a week. It makes me feel good. And Chris even though he looks very young, is still a father of three, a couple of teenagers in there. So um, we're going to get started with our actual presentation. I'll hand it over to Chris. So this has been in the news. It's been talked about probably with your neighbors. And probably every time you go to the grocery store, you're cursing up in the air. Um, inflation, what's going on? And how does this affect your purchasing power, uh, your purchasing power in the future? How does that affect your investing in the future, your retirement, your 401k? Um, it's basically essentially is that your dollar is not going as far as it once did. Um, you know, at one one point in time, you know, uh, a can of Coke costs 35 cents or 50 cents. And now that same can of Coke is costing 250. And that's really what inflation is doing over time. Yeah, exactly. And so with that in mind, you know, we kind of take a deeper look and a conversation I'm having a lot with clients is why is eggs costing so much? And the media is definitely focusing on eggs because they've, the price raising on eggs is astronomical. I think it's 150% or something like that. There's a great Forbes article that we cite down there that you can learn a little bit more about what, you know, how much it's risen and all that kind of stuff. But one thing that's really great about the article that's cited down there is that it's talking about lots of other things that happen. So inflation isn't just a number that's given to us and that's what inflation is or that's what the price of goods is rising in our country. It's really based off of a lot of different things. That's why you've got eggs rising at a different level than maybe cheese or maybe um, house goods or something like that. It's because there's other factors that come into mind. So there is actually, a, a, I think it's an aviation flu, they say, that is affecting eggs and the quality of eggs and the amount of eggs that are produced. And so with less eggs available, inflation or the price of them goes up because there's less to sell. And so they become more of a scarcity. And so when you think of inflation with your daily goods and with the cost of everything going up, you've got to remember that there are other things going on in the background. And so that's why some things are skyrocketing more than others. And even times of no inflation, we are having, you know, there are areas in our economy where they are experiencing inflation because of supply chain issues or other things that happen just in the regular working life of people in the economy. So let's take a look at how it affects the stock market. Now, most of you that have a 401k have some money in the stock side of things and some money in the bonds. So we're going to talk about both. 
with the stock side of things, oftentimes when we have high inflationary um, times like we do now, it's usually uncertainty in the economy. Now, the markets don't like uncertainty. They love certainty. And so when it's uncertain, um, that means that um, the market gets a little shaky and gets volatile. And so this can happen for companies too, because remember when you're investing in stocks, you're actually investing in a company, you know, you're investing in, in, in them and you have shares of that company. And so if their outlook doesn't look good because it can't, because inflation is hurting them and their bottom line, then we can take a look at that and go, well, that means that the company is a little unstable and maybe I don't want to own it. And it can, it can cause volatility in company stocks. Um, so traditionally with high inflationary rates, um, it can be a little choppy, which we've seen in the last couple of years, um, really for 2022 in particular. Um, now, when you're at a historic inflationary rate, which is about two and a half percent or so, it's usually seen as healthy. So they don't necessarily want it to go down to zero inflation, but you know, a healthy rate of like what's historical, which is about two and a half to three percent, that's seen as healthy and the stock markets tend to like that a little bit better. Now, how does that affect the other side of your investments in 401k, which is the bonds? Now, remember, bonds are different than stocks. They're actually debt on a corporation or a government agency um, if you're buying U.S. treasuries or something like that. And typically, high inflation means that the Fed raises interest rates, which is happening right now. That's why we keep talking about interest rates raising and inflationary sides of things. They use interest rate raising to get inflation down. And so when interest rates go up, that's actually not good for bonds. They become they become less attractive, the bonds that are already issued because there's new bonds coming out with different rates. And so the current bond market could actually suffer. And we saw that a lot in 2022. It actually was a very difficult year in the bond market in 2022. Um, we'll see where it's going. It seems to have stabilized a little bit. And if interest rates stop going up or slow down, they're going up, then it, they definitely, you know, could could recover. But we'll just have to wait and see. Um, our crystal balls aren't working right now. So I'm going to hand it to Chris for the last point, which is talking about how cash is inflated, infected by inflation. So one of the, the big items is, you know, um, I've been doing this business for in this business for 22, 23 years. So I've had some periods of time when um, 2008 uh, and then a couple of years ago when COVID hit. And so I've had some periods of time when people were like, I'm just going to bury it in the backyard and I'm just going to run to cash. And you can see what cash has been earning as for the last almost 10 years has been almost abominable, like 0.03. So yes, that's 0 0.03, very minimal. So here comes the evil monster inflation. And now all of a sudden, while even though you've accumulated this cash is essentially, it's not keeping up with your buying power. So you're almost losing money for, for that fact. So, and really like the buying power of going to the grocery store, buying a new car, buying a new house, all these different things that cash starts to, you know, become almost not worthless, but it doesn't carry the the weight that it did at one point. Now, what's interesting of what's going on as of late within the last almost 12 months is that short-term interest rates have increased and have given you an opportunity to take that 0 0.03 up to more like 0.5, 0.45, more interesting numbers. So it is uh, something to look into when you're looking into your investments is uh, where is cash at now? Like what are CDs? What are treasuries? What are bonds? What are the short-term interest rates um, that are out there that can help protect you against uh, some of these inflationary numbers? Right, exactly. So is there any good news with inflation? Well, there there actually is. There's some changes that happen with uh, how much you can contribute, including your 401k and some, some uh, tax rate stuff that changes with inflation. So we actually have a video on our YouTube channel. You probably didn't know we had a YouTube channel, but um, it's youtube.com at 
onevisionretirement.com. You can see the link there. And essentially, we have a video called The Bright Side of Inflation. Um, you do get to hear me sing for a second. I apologize in advance. Um, but essentially, it's a good video to kind of get an idea of what some good things that are going on with inflation are out there. And so with that, um, we take it to ending at this point. We'll go to questions for those of you who are uh, present, but you can always schedule a time to call us, whether we handle your 401k or we don't, um, we would be happy to chat with you about what's going on, how it's helping or hurting your financial picture um, and some changes you could be making. That's our information. The email goes to both of us. That's our website. And then I'm pretty active on LinkedIn. So if you just want to get some more information, that's there. But if you do want to schedule that call, go onto the QR code, open up your um, photo, your camera basically, and it will pop up and you can schedule a time to talk to both of us or one of us. And uh, we're happy to help you with your situation. So with that, we'll wrap up for April of 2023, and we'll see you the third Wednesday of uh, May. I can't believe we're in May um, for our next one. Take care, everyone.